Hey guys, it's Barrett with the Gimby Camper. So this week's episode, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna show you what tools that we carry around. I'm actually going through them, trying to decide what we need to keep carrying, what we can get rid of, because I'm trying to get rid of a little bit of weight and I carry probably too much. But it's all gonna depend, of course, on how handy you are, as well as you know how much you're planning on fixing yourself. But you need to have a basic toolkit no matter what. I will say other than the things that I'm picturing here, which I have a, I have a little short clip of everything that I have in here. I have some other stuff besides what's showing up on this clip, and that would be the air compressor, the hoses for the air compressor, the inflator, the pressure gauge, a uh, set of crimpers for PEX, uh, which can be pretty important, or just get you some shark bite fittings, as well as a caulking gun. Now all this stuff traditionally I keep in two toolboxes, one's for like general tools, one's for electrical type stuff, and then I also have two milk crates that stay in the forward storage, and that's mainly what I'm trying to get rid of, but I thought I would try to condense things a little bit here. We'll start with some stuff that just stays in our storage area and that's dielectric grease. Pretty handy to have if you have a lot of 12 volt connections, it's good for your trailer connectors and stuff, as well as some Hilco lube. Um, Steve over at Shelburne said, use this for everything. It seems to be pretty good stuff. All right, so starting out my main toolbox here, I used to carry this half inch ratchet uh, that I also use for a breaker bar, the Harbor Freight Special, it's a pretty good tool. Um, but it is kind of hefty and I've never once used this mainly because I don't have any half inch drive things except for I do have one half inch drive ratchet and a socket and extension outside with the air compressor stuff because it's only used for the uh, anode rod for the water heater. Speaking of, I do keep two extra anode rods in here because I got a pack on Amazon that had three. So I just keep the other two in my milk crate. So I am gonna keep those. So my main toolbox, we're gonna start with our socket set. It is good to have just a standard socket set of both standard and metric, both large and small sizes. I had a kit that came loose here. So I just keep it in the toolbox as well as a couple of small extensions. That's probably the most used tool that I have. Also I have a small level, comes in pretty handy for certain things, so we're gonna keep that. I have a can of Fusion Krylon paint. Now that is for my flagpole, because every now and then I give it a fresh coat of paint, but I don't need to carry that in here, so I'm gonna take it back to the house. Along the same line as the socket set, we have some assorted wrenches in both metric and SAE. One reason I'm doing this is cause you get a bunch of crap that's the same stuff in different places and you just forget about it. So I do have four markers here. I'll probably keep two of them in here. These I usually keep on the tray that goes on top of the toolbox. And these two I'll take home. It's also good to keep an adjustable wrench. That way if you don't have the size you need, um, or if you need to hold something while you tighten it down and it's the same size as your wrench and you can't get a socket in there, it's good to have. Isopropyl uh, alcohol, I always keep that around uh, for cleaning. Mainly I use it for my vinyl stuff whenever I bring my vinyl machine, but that stays in the bathroom medicine cabinet actually. I have some assorted tapes here. This is called T-Rex tape. It's kind of like Gorilla tape. Um, need to keep something like that just for emergency repair. I had some underbelly tape, but that stuff didn't work all that well. It came off within like 800 miles. Also have a little bit of painter's tape and some, this is like Gorilla interior double-sided tape. Um, that way if I need that for anything. Now, one of those areas where I say that you tend to have more than one thing that you don't need comes to hex keys. And so I have a set of metric that's got balls on it. Um, these are star, so I'll probably keep those. These are another set of metric. They can go back to the house. Another set of metric. They can go back to the house and a set of standard. So I'll keep the standard, the good set of metric. Metric is going to be what you find most things in around the camper. 
and occasionally you'll need a star bit so i'll keep this uh tea set around pair of like utility gloves i just keep those in the milk crate up front they're light it's good to have around in case you need them then we got some large hose clamps i got these um with the finger tighten on it just for the heater but the problem is is they were too tight to too hard to get tight to hold them on there down in there i thought it'd be easier but it wasn't so i'm going to take those back out we're going to take those to the house um, these are the original two that were on the heater i'm going to leave them in here because if i have to get to that heater again i'm going to put these back on because the others were just too big of a pain i have some goo on i don't really need that i'm going to take it to the house some loctite super glue that can come in pretty handy zip ties always keep you some zip ties they're light easy useful all the time i have a roll of plastic here i don't even know what i use that for i mean it's kind of handy to have but there's no reason i need to carry it around i'm gonna take it home electrical tape i got like three rolls we're gonna keep that but we're gonna keep one roll i have a fitting to fix uh, air hose i don't need that with me i'm going to take it home bicycle brake cable that's for my daughter's bicycle i'm going to keep that some assorted wire nuts these are large i have some others in the top of the toolbox here it's going to add a couple of these large ones in here that'll fit the rest i'm going to take home now we're going to start getting into a lot of electrical stuff um i have one that's one kit that's like a 12 volt kit that came from walmart that has some cheap wire strippers and stuff in it i like to keep that and it's got a lot of the little 12 volt connectors with it um, but i have one toolbox that's dedicated mainly for electrical stuff and with that first we have some clips some wire clips just to screw wire and stuff to the wall that's always a good thing to have around i got a couple of different sizes I have a couple of these like Ada fuses. These are from projects that I was working on and electrical and stuff. Um, but I didn't end up needing this one and I shouldn't need that while I'm on the road. So I'm going to send that and I have a smaller one here. We're going to take those back to the house. These go along with the zip ties. They're just one inch squares that you can have sticky tape on it so you can mount those to the wall or whatever and then zip tie something to it. We we'll keep those in my electrical box. Now you'll find if you have an RV that the little red wire connectors that are for 22 to 18 gauge, they come in really handy. So on top of my ones in the electrical box, um, my portable kit, I always keep a, another spare set of these. Got some alligator clips, as well as a couple of pieces of wire. Um, this is 12 gauge wire, you know, if you're around anything 12 volt like a camper it's a good thing to have the alligator clips i keep because if you need to test something with like a 12 volt light or something like that and you're not near a ground you know it's easy to put that on a piece of this wire and use that for the ground where it'll reach and so i like to keep the little alligator clips around voltmeter Obviously you don't need one if you don't know how to use it, but they're very handy for all kinds of electrical stuff. Highly suggest if you have any idea what you're doing with one, keep that in your electrical box. Got some copper lugs. I'm gonna take those back to the house because no reason I need to carry those around. I have some uh, the yellow ring connectors. I'm gonna keep those in here. And I got a couple of various sizes of shrink wrap for wires i'm going to put those in the electrical box now the electrical box i also use for like some plumbing supplies too i keep some pex fittings in the top here um i do have my pex cutters here i'm going to keep those in there just so that i know where to find them and i also have some thread tape here i always keep a little bit of that and i usually keep a couple of various sizes of the 3m exterior double-sided tape all right this is small black chain and s hooks i previously used this on my flagpole and i wanted to keep it in case i needed to do a repair but i don't need this jack chain and stuff anymore because i changed the way that i did it so i'm gonna take that back and then you need some various screwdrivers now i like to keep one flathead and one number two phillips in the electrical box because you're all the time needing those um so i keep those in there in case i need them 
and then the rest of them I put in the main box, but just like one of a couple of different sizes of Phillips and flathead, and it would behoove you to have a square drive, just a screwdriver. I have one, I use it all the time because a lot of the things in your camper are square drives. Phillips will usually work on it, but square drive works a lot better. So be sure you have a square drive. Another option is one of these that just takes different bits. Um, you know, that'd save you some space, but I always lose the tips. I do keep usually a drill with me. And so I keep a set of those. And so I do keep one of these, but I have a real bad problem about losing them. Something that's good to keep is uh, for your tow vehicle is some brake fluid the, for the kind that fits your tow vehicle, as well as some power steering fluid, some extra coolant. Um, all that's good to have on hand because occasionally my coolant level will go a little bit low. And I'll be out in the middle of nowhere and it'll probably be fine until I get back, but I really like having some that I can just put in there. I had an extra 12 volt plug. I don't need that. I'm going to take it to the house. A pair of 10 snips. You'd be surprised how often these can come in handy. Scraper. I always keep a scraper. Tire emergencies. I keep a plug kit and I keep a valve stem kit. So those usually stay up in the front in the milk crate. You need a few different size pliers. I mean, I guess you can get by with one or two, but I really like having options. So I keep a set of lineman's pliers. A set of small, just regular pliers, some small vice grips, as well as some adjustable pliers. Those all go in my general toolbox. I keep some leak detector in here. You can just use soapy water, but I use this if I have to open a propane line or check for a leak in a tire. This is just easy to have on hand. It seems to bubble up a little bit more than just soapy water. Now I have an RV armor roof, so I have a repair kit this has extra product in it so i can do a roof repair myself if i need to obviously that needs to stay with the camper and i keep it in the milk crate up front these are just stick on hooks that i bought at like the dollar tree um, i got them for something specific but then i ended up using the cup hook instead so i'm going to throw those out extra hose washers always need these because your water hose will start leaking just randomly so Keep that in my milk crate up front. Now I'm a little bit different in the fact that I carry a regular air compressor. So in the fact that I need to change a tire or something, I do keep an impact gun. Um, I do keep an air version one because I'm too cheap to buy a battery powered one. And I have a full air compressor here and I have a generator to use it. This is a little on the heavy side, um, but I just like to have it. So I keep that in my front storage. As well as a little bit of oil. Now, sometimes you'll be out somewhere and you'll need something and you'll buy something as a necessity. And that's how I got this hacksaw. So this doesn't weigh too much. I had to use it to do an emergency repair on my ABS. Um, so I had to cut some pipe. And for that reason, I went to Walmart, found it on clearance and it's not that heavy. And for the gain versus weight, I'll keep that in my front storage as well. Now, because I keep the impact gun, I do keep some DeWalt deep impact sockets. And, you know, I could probably get away with just using, taking a couple out of here. But I just like having the full set because you never know what you're going to run into. I have some wire loom here. Um, again, that's really lightweight. And you might need it whenever around the camper. So I'll keep that in the front storage. Butyl tape. You always need butyl tape and you always need some sealant. So just keep you some butyl tape. Uh, if you ever have to get any, it comes in a roll that's way bigger than what you're probably gonna use. So just keep the rest of it. Keep that in my front storage as well. We got some black colored rivets. I started having an issue with one of my fenders and the screws were coming out. So I got some black rivets. Those work really well, but my rivet gun broke, but I have the rivets. All right, here's my little 12 volt kit that I was talking about that I got at Walmart. Um, that just has some various tools and connectors and stuff and come with the cheap uh, wire strippers and for most people that's going to be all you need it has a test light and stuff in it already this i keep with my two other toolboxes but i do keep it separate because it's all packaged up itself and i have some strapping the strapping is lightweight but i don't even remember what i used it for and i don't think i'll ever need it again uh, this is one of those things that I, even though it's lightweight, I think that I'll go ahead and get rid of it. 
because I can figure out something in the bind without having to have this and it uncurls and makes a mess. Got a random drill bit set here. Like I told you, I usually do have a drill, so I wanna keep a drill bit set as well as a screwdriver tip set. I do keep a hammer in my front bay. I mainly use this to put my lantern, my light post in with the ground stakes. Um, but you never know when you might need a little hammer. Also, I have some Loctite. This one's actually high temperature Loctite. I always keep that with me because you never know when you might need that. And the last thing is going to be just some utility knives. This one won't close anymore, so you gotta be careful with it. But you never know. I always lose these anyway. And so I like to keep a few of them. And so I keep one in the electrical box and the rest in my general box. So guys, that's the tools that I use, the tools I carry around. Why don't you give leave in the comments what you carry around that I don't and what you think I carry around that's just a waste of uh, valuable weight. So just let me know and we'll see you next time. Hope this video helps some of you. Thanks. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.